Hi, this is Kevin Dio from Upscale Audio, and today we're going to talk about an audiophile loudspeaker that you can have some fun with. This is the Focal Spectral 40th. It is uh, an anniversary loudspeaker. Remember something. Focal is a company that has really helped other manufacturers become prominent. Focal started as a company that did real research and development into making drivers, using different materials, coming up with real ways to improve the sound of loudspeakers. And for years and years and years, they were making other companies rich. Companies that didn't really make much of anything. Companies that made the cabinets, and they would come up with some designs, but a lot of what they did was a matter of, you know, buying a driver here, buying a driver there, here's some inductors, here's some capacitors, we use some alligator clips and screw them into the box, how's that working? Pretty good, okay. You know, there's a lot of companies that do that, and some of them make some great speakers. But what I don't like is some companies that uh, use a little, <laughs> instead of being able to talk about real things that they do in-house, they come up with, with things that, I gotta tell you something, I just read this description of a loudspeaker from a company that doesn't make any drivers. So instead of, uh, you know, talking about real engineering, they decided to use some really cool flowery language for speakers that they come from, buy from other companies. Features include a maximal motor with expanded dynamic contrast and re reduced neutrally hung voice coil assembly with paper capped on former, a linear inline layup of the inner cone for best resolution of detail, diamagnetic shorting assembly for dynamic damping of the moving mass when playing at concert levels, nanotech impregnated paper. Then it talks about the nanomaterials and application process reduce weight while increasing strength and propagation velocity without incurring and sacrificing damping. We up, lay up the paper cone as core material uh, with the liquid matrix over it. We use nano-processed and nano-engineered materials and key components, including nanospheric ceramic balloons, nanofiber crystal bite, amorphous fused silica. Uh, I mean, Jesus Christ. Look, <laughs> this is a company that really makes things. They make over 250 different drivers. I have seen what they do in-house. And it is engineering first, and it's parts first. And what they wanted to do here was create a... Back in the old day, we used to have a lot of fun turning on a pair of Sirwin Vegas, 15-inch two-way speaker. Had a jagged top end, crap mid-range, but good God, they were terrific and fun to listen to. Now, Focal loudspeakers, they'll rock it. The whole line, they do amazing things with rock and roll, but what they wanted to do was something that I've not seen anybody else do. Create a loudspeaker that kicks ass with rock and roll, that's got a bass response that's just a little bit fuller and has that punch that everybody loves and has a top end that's just a little bit relaxed so you can turn it up and it doesn't tear, tear your ears off and make it super, super fun. But if you want to listen to vocals or a small scale jazz, the speaker will still be an audiophile speaker and will still disappear and will still give you glorious mid-range. And I've not seen another company do it. I've got companies that make great rock and roll speakers, but if you were to say, oh yeah, but do they get the chestiness of Johnny Cash singing a cappella uh, in an acoustic setting, right? No, they won't do that. This speaker will. It is a departure for them, and it was just an amazing, amazing idea. It's a big cabinet. You need a big cabinet to get bass response. Uh, that's why I have it next to the Scala Utopia. It has a port on the front and a port on the back. That keeps the efficiency up, and it gives you that nice round bottom end that everybody loves. They're using Kevlar. Now, Focal has been famous for using Kevlar for many, many years. They were the company that really started the whole thing. If you look at high-end car systems and they've got yellow cones, that's going to be a, a, a Focal system. Now, this is the latest iteration of their take 
on Kevlar. And the benefit of these new drivers is speed, less mass, increased stiffness, less coloration. And I'm gonna tell you something, they are bad ass. So this has, <clears throat> these two base drivers have a double wall cone the mid-range driver has a single wall cone. And what they've done here is, don't forget, the reason we love Focal and the reason I always talk about Focal is their mid-band. You know, some manufacturers just have a tendency to have that kind of choked off mid-range that don't give you that good body and Focals always do. They always get this part right. And that's because they use mid-range drivers a little bit larger in diameter and that's where the magic happens. Then they use the same material for a tweeter, and that was a great idea. This tweeter is just a little bit more relaxed than the other Focals, but it still uses their M-shaped dome. The beauty of this dome shape is two things. Dispersion, so you don't have to be right in front of the speaker. The people that are sitting over there are going to hear the same top end that you're hearing. They, it's less beamy. The other thing is they don't break up. And I've seen that when I was at the Focal factory in France, they showed me how they used lasers to study dome shapes and their reaction. It's, a, it's just a really, really badass speaker. And at $10,000, I mean, it is the answer to so many customers that are looking for something. They go, yeah, you know, I, I do, I am an audiophile. I do like things to be real and the speakers to disappear. But man, I still like to think about things that are having fun. And that's what the speaker is about. That This has what's called a gamma structure cabinet. And you can go read about this on the Focal website. I've seen them making these cabinets. And they are completely dead. And they are completely inert. And that's why this speaker weighs over 100 pounds. It's about 91 dB efficient, and what that and the uh, minimum impedance is about three ohms. So the beauty of that is, it doesn't fight amplifiers. Eight ohm nominal, 3.1 ohms minimum. That means you can use it with all kinds of tube amps. All kinds of tube amps. You got 30 watts on up, you're going to be rocking. You have a good solid state amp, 50 watts on up, you're going to be rocking. Focals always have had a history of being very, very easy on amplifiers. So look, comes in one finish. Uh, it's a limited production product. Uh, it's an anniversary product. I'm very, very proud to be a Focal dealer. You know why? I've met these people and they are the, they're absolutely God's good people. They are so cool and they love this stuff just the way I do. They're real enthusiasts. They're not owned by some big frickin' money conglomerate company, and I hate it when those people get into high-end audio because they always ruin it. No, they are enthusiasts. Come to our store and we'll play them for you. Email us. Trade in your old tchotchke. If even if you have some old Sherwin Vegas, we have 12-month no interest financing. We always guarantee the best price. I've got people here, none of them are on commission. They don't try to sell you on anything. I promise you, for that reason, we're gonna treat your system like it's ours. Thanks.